morning everybody uh, welcome back to the channel uh, as promised this week I'm going to be talking about our new grain store uh, please don't forget subscribe to the channel click on the little bell then you'll get a notification of our weekly updates and when we, we get them online Okay, so uh, I've shown some shots of the shed going up, uh, but I haven't really explained what we're doing and what the design is. So today I'd like to quickly go through uh, our grain handling system and then explain how this new shed fits in. So uh, here we go. Okay, so this is our grain handling yard filled with the rubbish at the moment and uh, stuff for the shed. Is our new grain store, and uh, here is our grain handling facility and uh, conveyors going up here. So, uh, to explain, wet grain comes in and it gets dumped in this uh, bunker here. And part of the limitations of our site is we haven't had enough wet storage in the past, so. This uh, section here will be uh, a dump, a wet dump site as well. It will, we anticipate, should be able to take about 200 tonnes of wheat. So we've done the experiments in the past. Grain gets far wetter in the field than it does in the heap. So it's better for us to combine it, have it sitting outside and let it get wet than it is to have it sitting in the field um, and get wet. Okay, so as it says on the post, wet. This is our wet grain input. We then JCB it, or handler, into this um, input hopper. And at the bottom you can just see a bit of red there. Where is the input hopper for our 30 ton master batch dryer? Uh, which discharges on this side and as you can see it's labelled the dry bay so this is uh, discharges from the batch dryer up there walls on the ground and then we have an above ground pit that's set in the ground conveyor goes up out the other side of the wall and up into this elevator here which goes up and along the side of the shed up here and at which point it can discharge into either this 1500 tonne store or across the 1000 tonne store on the other side. So the question is how does the new store fit in with that arrangement? Well Here's the news for cock up number one. So I've just walked behind the uh, scissor lift there. Uh, this is our wet grain bunker. But the cock up is my previous turkey shed. And as you can see, not left much gap here. And the idea is all these manhole covers are for services and water and stuff. Okay, we've got a couple of pipes in there. Anyway, turning around, this is the back of our grain dryer shed and the cock up is that I would have liked this shed to have been probably five meters further out into the field so that I could have got an elevator in. Um, that wasn't possible uh, the, the tank, by the way, here, yeah, that's the uh, kerosene tank for the grain dryer. This is our big electric cupboard. Um, when we put that big electric dryer in, we had to put an extra big transformer on the pole. So, uh, and this HV power line used to run all the way through our farmyard, exactly where that little cutters there used to go through our farmyard obviously not that uh, good 
for handlers on a busy harvest day, so we paid for that to be put under cover a couple of years ago. So back to the other side again. The reason that that was a cock up is because it means that I can't use an elevator system to fill this shed without doing some sort of complicated junction type arrangement over there similar to what we did at the back of this shed where it comes up at the wall and out so what we've decided to do instead is I believe that we're going to be growing a lot more uh, niche crops for uh, specific end users so we're going to this shed is going to be split into one two three four five six bays down this side and then with three roller doors for three bays at the gable end there and what we've done is I have bought a, a conveyor grain conveyor from my brother And the idea is that the conveyor will sit here. Each one of these doors is going to have uh, panels, thinner panels behind it, similar to the other side, but uh, just not as thick. And we will project grain over the wall and into the shed. So the conveyor will sit here and project in. And the JCB can bring grain round and drop it in. Um, the idea being that I can sell the JCB, I can sell the conveyor, I can't sell a permanent installation. So hopefully um, with HS2 I simply don't know what's going on and that's why we've uh, chosen this method. I've never really used it before uh, so it'll be a challenge this harvest. Uh, another little slight challenge is that uh, Graham, my main uh, grain handling man, he's expecting his first baby this week or this weekend uh, so uh, his availability during harvest might be up in the air a little bit so we've got an exciting harvest ahead of us thank you very much for tuning in as I said please hit the subscribe button click on the bell for notifications give us a like and uh, we'll see you next time thank you